tempers flare. Guys practice hard. Uh, just has, have to understand that we cannot allow uh, our personal uh, battle affect the team um, that we play in between the whistles. And there's only so much yapping, grabbing, those type of things that it's going to be allowable. We don't condone it. And this practice brought that out because of the competitive nature. Uh, and so we have to be beyond reproach as a team uh, that have controlled aggression in between uh, the whistle. And uh, it's something that this team needs to continue to improve upon. You know, that's camp. And, uh, but you, got, you have to be poised beyond that, that in the midst of all that's going on, uh, you come over, you overcome that, and you don't let, uh, we say, ignore the noise. All that's around you, um, whatever it is, you focus in on the next day, the next play, and you live in the moment. And I think when we are uh, mature enough to do that, we'll continue to take leaps and bounds. Right now, uh, those things, or today, I shouldn't say right now, but today, it got the best of us in the midst of a, of a camp, uh, a grueling camp. Yeah, uh, all over the place, just from top to bottom. Uh, from a depth chart standpoint, competition continues to fuel all over the place. Uh, you know, we tell our guys the, uh, the dumb jock no longer exists. It certainly doesn't exist at UTSA, that we want guys with bright minds that are able to think under distress um, and make uh, the sound decisions in tough situations. And so uh, we've seen that. We've seen ourselves grow up in that way. Uh, and when challenged today, at times, uh, we didn't fully take that step forward. So uh, we'll get there. Yeah, you know, speaking of Taiki Kellogg, he's one of the guys who have. Uh, he's performed extremely well. Um, Spencer Burford, another true freshman who has really come on. Come on. Sheldon Jones has come on. Uh, as well as a lot of our seasoned players has improved their game. Tough group that's being challenged, that's being pushed day in and day out by a talented wide receiver core that has stature. You know, we've got a couple of 6'4", six, 6'5", six, guys over there. Uh, certainly we don't have a corner that, of that uh, height, but certainly guys who uh, understand how to play the position, uh, guys who've gone out and, and really challenge each other and then embrace the challenge of the opposition, the receiver position. So uh, I like the strides our secondaries making.